What's up guys, my name is Andy Tawaris and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install number one, NVIDIA drivers properly. I've changed the method I install NVIDIA drivers from now on. Uh, it's a better way and it's a way that I have found out the problem and mostly the reason why I made what is Arch Linux revised. This is the reason why and now I have found out the problem, the root of that issue and that it's my own error and I figured out why. And I want to show others the error because a lot of people I believe the reason this error exists is because of the way we're installing the NVIDIA drivers and how they're not getting updated. So the way I installed NVIDIA drivers previously was through the terminal manager or Pac-Man helper in a sense called Yoroot and Yoroot allowed you to uh, it integrates into the Arch user repository so you don't have to build every package from source and it's very very helpful so the command we used to use is Yoroot NVIDIA or I would use install the in beta drivers because the NVIDIA beta drivers for me were the ones that worked the best every time I updated my system though the NVIDIA driver would break and then I'd have to fid fiddle with the NVIDIA driver to make it work again, mostly reinstalling it, meaning getting the newest version. I never realized this until the last time I updated, which was a couple of days ago now, and I realized that NVIDIA, the NVIDIA drivers were not being updated because I installed them through Yoroot. When you install it from Yoroot, they don't get updated. They're not updated. So any package from Yarrow isn't going to be upgraded when the system updates. For some reason, NVIDIA doesn't update. It was still back a version for the beta drivers. So that's why my computer fails. What I did was I installed all of the NVIDIA drivers that I installed through Yor. I deleted them all. So if you have used the NVIDIA driver through Yoroot, this is why every time you update your system, you have an issue. What I recommend is uninstalling all of them, and you can use the command RNU, or if that doesn't work, you can use the command RDD, which will also work as well. And I wasn't playing around with Lightworks before. So the command we're going to be using to install NVIDIA now is sudo pacman s NVIDIA. So this is the driver you're going to be installing, and it's the latest driver, 355.11.3 or dash 3. And that is the latest driver, and that should work without issue. It should work perfectly. Now, after that is, this is the point of the video where if you just wanted to get the NVIDIA driver working, you should be fine. If you're not fine, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try to help you out with it, try to trouble, troubleshoot with you, and try to help you out because I do understand the stress of having NVIDIA not work for a long time. I didn't have Steam working for like six months now. Um, since this problem occurred, 32-bit libraries and all that, and I just recently got it working, like, a couple days ago, so I just want to spread that ability so you don't have to have stress about not being able to do graphics on your, on your Linux rig or using your GPU while gaming and having no gaming access at all, which Linux is actually when there's plenty of Linux games coming out and then you can't play them. So, to install Steam, what you're going to have to do is edit your Pac-Man configuration file. So, for that, you're going to do su uh, sudo nano slash etc slash pacman dot config. This will bring us to this file here, and we're going to scroll down, and this will help you out for a lot of other packages as well that do not use the normal libraries. So, the main two libraries are usually extra and community. What you're going to be uncommenting is the multi-lib right here. So this, on your computer, if you haven't done this already, will look like this. You're going to delete those pound symbols or hashtags. Um, you're gonna take all those, you're gonna take those out, and you're gonna do control X, and then press Y to save, and then enter to save those changes. And then you're just gonna do sudo pacman syy uh, syu to just synchronize all the databases, and that will grab everything it needs for multi-lib, all the package resources for multi-lib, and you'll see that be grabbed in a second here after just core, community, multi-lib, and then uh, the other, the last one, which is Arch Linux FR, that's for your root. And uh, once it finishes that, then you're able to, and we'll, we're gonna say no to that at the moment, um, we'll clear this out. And then once you've done that command, then you can proceed to installing Steam. So that is sudo pacman s and then Steam, and then you can download Steam. And that will be the latest version of Steam and the main uh, version of the Steam client, and you should be all good. Now, 
The problem is, once you do that, you're going to get a message that says you have not installed the 32-bit libraries. So the two things you're going to have to install for NVIDIA for Steam to work is sudo pacman-s lib32-nvidia-utils. This is number one. You have to install this. This is a 32-bit library. That's step one. And this is the second command you're going to need to install, the second package you're going to need to install for NVIDIA, which is the libgil 32-bit library. And after you install these two packages, your Steam installation, you reboot your computer, and you should have no problem launching Steam. The error should go away, and then you should be able to uh, go into Steam. So right here is Steam, and it's uh, downloading some updates So for Counter-Strike, and the uh, the Linux Steam library is getting really, really good. Uh, Arma 3 got ported to Linux recently, and I was very, very surprised. I came back and only a couple days ago, and I looked, and I was like, Arma 3? I was like, what? So I downloaded it. It's not Arma 3 for Windows, that's for sure. It's a lot worse, I think. It's it's outdated, and I don't think a lot of the mods very, work very well at all. I don't think any of them work. But uh, it's there, and it's possible one day that it will be updated fully to Windows, and maybe one day I'll be playing the Exile mod on um, on Linux, which would be amazing. And I would love to see Grand Theft Auto 5 ported to Linux, and I've actually heard people playing Grand, Th Grand Theft Auto 5 on Linux as well, which I don't know if that's confirmed, and if it is confirmed, leave it in the comments section below, and I'll, I'll try to figure out how to play it and how to get it installed, maybe I'll make a tutorial showing people how to do that if I figure it out myself. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about how I installed in the NVIDIA drivers? If you have any problem with your own installation of those drivers, please leave a comment in this comment section below, and I'll try to help you out as best I can to get that issue resolved. Again, also, same goes with the Steam installation if you have an issue for installing and getting Steam up and running. So as always, my name's Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.